Nice. Oh. Let's say. Estella's big sister embodies the dark side of his Which Makes her an even scarier fighter than his sister. Hey, what weapon do you have? Probably the same thing. Yeah, same, same thing. Scenario. All right. I think once we hit Olympus Maximus, they they use swords. Yeah, I know they they use swords uh, around that point. And I think they use tridents in the uh, in um, two thousand lumps of the or twenty thousand lumps of the sea. Yeah. It's also probably my, my favorite word, but well. Did you just pronounce it the right way? You just get used to it after a while now. Yeah. Something for the light side of the force. <laughs> well, that definitely is in stalls right now. Hey, yo. Where have I heard this song? Oh, wait a minute. I think I remember this one. Luchador! <laughs> Luchador! <laughs> Mucha! This is great. This is <laughs> amazing. Grab him for what you like doing there because of what I said. Does anybody else remember that cartoon? What? Yes. Wait, what cartoon? Lucha Lucha. Um, it was maybe. Like I think they also started airing that cartoon never back for a point. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love. The I, lo pretty lady. I love the momentum you can get. Family tradition donuts. This doesn't ring a bell offhand, I'll admit. Oh, uh, uh, we need to show you this something later. <laughs> Taking you back to the days of early 2000s flash animation. Huh. Oh crap, I was too fast! I think it was like 2003? Huh. 2002 or 3, I think. I have my phone in front of me, so allow me to check. Arriba! <laughs> <laughs> I love the ones that just fall down. Oh yeah, no, I know, yeah, I just thought it would just. The one? It was just like you go fly. Ah! Oh gosh. Wait, <laughs> do it, do it. There it is. <laughs> yeah, boy. Of course. Uh, let's see. Uh... It's 52 episodes long. Let's see. Premiered on KWB on August 17, 2002. Yes, that was right. Huh. Interesting. We've got bus time now, so... It was definitely a, uh, interesting show. <laughs> mm. Lucharon! <laughs> it's actually the Mucha Lucha battle now. Yeah. I just think he's ugly. <laughs> Ricochet really let himself go. <laughs> or is he El Rey? <laughs> Well, the way this guy moves, it reminds me, it's doing that, it reminds me of that one boss to me, boy. A little bit. I, I'm also get, I, I get major reflux flashbacks from this guy, from this boss, like, the, his attacks. Especially something like that. <laughs> so, oh, oh. Oh my god. What? Dang. Alright. <laughs> Well, this was accurate for one of the, for us to use this version of, of uh, Barbara. Yeah. We're fighting for we're fighting for our land. Yeah, suppose so. 
Oh god. Just gonna love how ridiculous this whole thing is. <laughs> yeah, right? Guy's gonna pound these, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> this really does remind me of like, like more, it's more blocks I've seen. Yeah. Oh, hey. I think it, the mushroom should pop up soon. He's just like outside of here, like of our arena or something. Yes. There we go. Man, this guy is slow. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I like how lightly he hit the ground. <laughs> yeah. He's like, boop. Get here for me! No, you just kinda have to wait this out. He doesn't oh, really do- Fight okay. you! Yeah, he doesn't really do anything when the platform Bye. goes down. Those wounds got disintegrated. Yeah. I wonder if you caught with the ref what I was referencing, Harry. I was like, "Bye, girl." I wasn't. I didn't realize you were referencing anything. King to rule. Oh. You guys before. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hooray! Now for the, now for the biggest disgrace he could ever suffer. Take off his mask. You are expelled from the world most. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, fuck! What was the school called? <laughs> I just love the constellation of the glow box thing with a harp. Oh, um, the foremost world-renowned international school for lucha. That's what it was. Uh, That's gorgeous. I forgot about that. The wind happy, devils. Happy alien creatures. And our music level time. I wonder what song this is going to be. This one, this is. Um, it's clearly it's gonna, um, it's gonna be living la vida loca. Tch. Please. That would be funny to see. <laughs> this is definitely one of my favorite remixes. Uh, just. As a song. Not necessarily my favorite music level, but... I'm, I, I always remember I need to attack a little earlier than I need to. Yeah. If I was just at the right big ending of this very first bit. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's very obvious what the song is. Yeah. Unless you don't listen to the radio. I'm kind of forced to. And then they released a tie-in album for this game. Yeah. They're, I really wish there were more of these. Because <laughs> there's only like six in the game. Huh? There's only like, what, five or six music levels, I think. And this one's the, I think this one's like the shortest one. Yeah, this is really short. We're, if I, we're, if it, yeah, like, even even the Land of the Living Dead one was not, not that long. Sorry, it's not that short. Attack wildly. Yep. The enemies from the uh, <laughs> Mysterio <laughs> levels from Origins. Down. 
Yeah, I love that too. And that's it. Yeah, it comes and goes so fast. Probably would need to avoid that copyright. <laughs> I guess. I mean, it's not like that's exactly a public domain song. Then again, to be fair, it's never Black Betty. True. But I mean, like, like all the others are pretty reasonably length, and that ends so fast. That just this one specifically. Hmm. I don't know. Guess good things always have to come to an end. And let's uh. But we're still, but we're still recording. Crafty <laughs> baby. Yeah, boy. So we'll just do this for like five weeks, and then we'll be good. I feel like I. I feel like they should have just. Giving you the reward for the lucky ticket in the level itself rather than having to do this nonsense because there's no real benefit to this, it's just kind of tedious. Like, if, they, if you just. Well, they also, clear, clearly, obviously, we you would mind. <laughs> no, I'm not even talking about that though. I mean, like. I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah, but like. Uh, uh, I feel like it would have been much better if they just had in every level, like, replace the lucky tickets and in the level itself just be like, okay, so if I get 400 lums in, I don't know, this level in 20,000 lums under the sea, then I get back to Origins, or this one I get a teensy. Like, if they just, if they just did that instead, I feel like it would make it a lot better because this... Ooh, Hmm? Sorry, I was looking at the here, Bryson. Alright. Yeah, then, I get what you mean, though. Yeah, just, if they did that instead of this, then I think it would make the pace a lot better. I guess they had to get that Scratchy Baby joke. Did <laughs> <laughs> you know, this gets old. Scratching lottery tickets? Yeah, basically. I actually won $100 on a Scratch Drop one. Oh, wow. <laughs> You. I should probably change the character actually. Oh, actually, I just realized the um, what's it called? They're coming up now. Oh, hey. The the invasion from the from the land from there. Oh, let's go to that one actually. <laughs> let's do this teensy. It's a girl. Here's a girl who's broken many teensy hearts. It didn't sound like a girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they didn't bother to make different sound clips. I guess. Oh yeah, the other world had the invasion come back now. Yep. Yep. This is my time invaded. That's okay. That's my favorite invasion theme. Yeah, this one's really good. I also remember this one giving me a little tad bit of trouble. A little bit. I already feel like we messed up something. The mid uh, no! attack messed me up. Hey, did you say Barbara for doing these for some reason? <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh. Hey, let's play again! Woo! Oh, dang it! I don't think we were gonna make it. Someone told me we weren't gonna make it anyways, you know? Eh, well, I mean. We were, like, at the end. Gotta run faster, faster, Sonic X. Oh, that was 
kind of sketchy. Get that reference exactly. <laughs> I do imagine the, the enemies here are the ones playing the song. There we go. Okay, okay, yeah, you're right. Sorry. I forgot how these levels go, it's been so long. Yeah. Just getting the speed boost of the slides is always satisfying. Can I make a 2D Woo! version of Rayman Arena? That would be pretty fun, actually. I'd be okay with that. I might... You still have it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you got Rayman. M, right? Yeah, we have Rayman M over here. Oh, this is a good, um... I remember this one giving me trouble. Yeah. This one can be rough. Because there's like a specific shortcut you need to take. Yeah, Otherwise, just... Otherwise, you might lose down two of the team keys. These skeletons are really doing anything wrong. They invaded. They, in fact, actually, if you look at the star that we, when it does the uh, ah! TNT spin, they're the ones who had the fires. <laughs> no, that yeah. was bad. No. <laughs> I know I could just restart, but that's funnier. Dang it. <laughs> Nailed it. I think I just kind of gave up on this one after a while. Mm. Not in terms of the level, but something meant to the game all three. Mm. And no, that's already sketchy. I always, I keep forgetting about that guy. <laughs> there we go. No! I probably shouldn't have grabbed that. Yeah. I can just tell by looking at how something go, how sometimes it feels like, really sketchy. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> something already didn't feel right there. How long left is the... Uh... Oh! Oh god! I remember that one being a lot tighter than that. Yeah. I mean, this couple speed boosts helped. Is that all the, the there is her? Yeah, that was only... Yeah, that was only 60 hats so far. Alright. I know we're not gonna... I know, because I know some of these are Dark Raymans. Spoilers. Yeah, that's like the end of the game. I don't think you get that until like the very end. This should that's just be. The end of all the stories. Yeah, this should just be the one. Yeah. Oh yeah, we forgot we missed Team C. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't yeah, this see, the one? Yeah, really... Huh? What? No, I was gonna I was, say. I was trying to describe it. That was the one. Like, see the skeletons. They were the ones with the fire. Right. Isn't this the one that the to... runaway runaway guys like, had glitch or something? You mean the one where you get killed them for no reason? Yeah. No. Oh. I can tell you which one it was when we get to it. I, uh, no, because I think it, I think it had the enemies of Olympus Maximus. Oh. Okay, that was pretty easy. <laughs> Huh. That's all the ones so far, I think. Yeah. Unless there's ones that uh, were added into the third one. You keep going to Heroes Gallery. <laughs> I'm just doing that to be far to go fast. I wish there was a way to just go into the this main area. Oh, there's not. Alright. Left girl. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, um... Oh, I think that's one of my favorite Barbara skins, actually, right there. 
Yeah, I like the, uh, what's it like, Ursula or something? That's one of my favorites. I think that is Ursula, actually. Curious Inflatable Island. You know what the fun part is? You know what the fun part is about that name? What? Well, we start there. Yeah. What the one of the funniest one of the funny things uh, when there was a trailer one of the trailers for Legends was uh, uh, basically promoting this world and uh, it, it's just Rayman Ursula and like and it's probably some other characters just messing around in the level and then it just ends with Glowbox alone on the island just kind of sitting here. <laughs> it's pretty good. There's a lot of loom here. Yeah. So it's should like go back to the old water team. Yep. This is actually probably my favorite world in the game, which is quite a contrast because I was I liked the water world in Origins, but I, I kind of felt like the levels themselves were a bit too long. Mm. And uh, th this one, they they uh, they're a lot more creative with this with the theme. It's not just Generic water world. Yeah, there's a lot more to it. It's very including the, including the Splinter Cell level later. Yeah, it's very uh, Mission Impossible esque, uh, very sci fi themed, if you will. Oh, but the Splinter Cell level is one of my favorites. Yeah. So it starts normal and I just immediately, like, just. It's like. It's like we're in. Um, uh, what was it? We're like in Bi Bioshock or something. This is a color theme. Well, you know, I think, isn't, was Bioshock? Was Bioshock Ubisoft? I believe. Oh, it's 2K. Right, uh. okay. I like the bass, I like the bass in the music. Yeah. Just a lot of like avoiding classic, lights. A classic stealthy, a classic stealthy uh, instrument. Yeah. This is probably one of my favorite. Uh, um, Water levels. Well, not just that, but it's probably one of my favorite um, us usages of um, uh, stealth in a game of recent memory. Because it's, it's just. Doing regular platforming and stuff, but you're just avoiding green lights and lasers later on and stuff. And it's just... I don't know, recontextualizes your regular platforming in a fun way, I think. It's worth knowing that you can touch these lights, you just can't stay in them for too long. Yeah, the red lights, like the red lasers that we'll get to, those, are in, those hurt you immediately. But no, um, one thing I want to mention is, uh, we alluded to this a little bit in the first session, where, um, the first world was, as far as I'm aware, built on top of the first world from Origins. And I know, noticed, uh, while editing, uh, for the, uh, for the LP, can I get out of this? Hello? Well, the game's broken. Bye, everybody. I can get out of this, come, clearly. You get for the middle? There we go, alright. Anyways, um, I noticed that Scrappy, um, you mentioned how what well, a desert level looks like it was from the didgeridoo desert from Origins. I don't know if you had anything else to say about that, but... Cause I, if, if, I think that's all I had to say. No, but I, I think that's interesting though because uh, I think that's interesting you brought that up because it makes me wonder if like these levels in general are just like the areas from Origins and it's just like a passage passage of time that's made them change so much. Well, like Pikmin. I guess that's probably the best way. That, that's probably the best example. Um, well, I mean, like. Was it implied that Rayman and the Everest have been asleep for a long time? They, yeah, they mentioned in the first cutscene they were asleep for a century, so a lot could change in that time. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. <coughs> I hope they got their beauty I do to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> like when you revisit old locations and sequels and they, and they 
been affected by the passage of time, like in Mario World, where you go to the ghost ship and it's just a sunken battleship from Mario 3. Hmm. Yeah. Or, or like, um, it's more of like a subtle detail, but like in Kingdom Hearts 3's gummy ship area, you actually get to, you actually, oh crap, um, in, um, the, ah. the, in one of the gummy ship sections in Kingdom Hearts 2, you fight like this, uh, this, uh, heartless ship, and you get to see the remains of that in, in 3, which I thought was really cool. Like it's floating, floating around? Yeah, it's just floating around in space. Huh. And I just, like, little details like that I just think are really neat. Yeah. The scary thing is that Kingdom Hearts 2 is old enough that Kingdom Hearts 3 can <laughs> make a nostalgia level out of it. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the sad part, he's not wrong. Yeah. Nah, that's fine, we missed one. Uh, go, no, I think I think I know where it was, too. I think he just passed it. Yeah. It. It's fine. Oh, it's not fine. No TNT left behind. But we already left back in World 2. Yeah. We don't need to... We're not going for 100%. Well, well, even if we got all the TNT in these levels, we can't go over 100% because we are not doing the Origins levels. Unless I did the... I, I, I could play them off screen if I really wanted to. Maybe stream them. Maybe, but. Mm. You're a good way to kill time for a stream if you have nothing to do. I suppose. I mean, it might be, some, it might be a nice pace breaker after, Pokemon, after you finish Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, I don't know what. Uh, oh. I didn't. <laughs> well, I mean, as long as. Provided I can actually stream uh, on Steam stuff, I. Oh yeah, because because chamber time. Yeah, I can. I want to try that, but I don't know. How, I don't know how well that's gonna go. I guess. I guess. What, I guess. We're on, I guess since we brought that up, um, as of this recording, um, I think I've, uh, chamber time, the Little Witch Academia game, it just got taken. It just got taken down from the stores. Yeah, it's been delisted. So uh, unless you find like. Uh, people who just have the ste like Steam keys for the game, it's not available, which is annoying because uh, I was I was gonna get the PS4 version because uh, consoles are the easiest way for me to stream games or record. But, nope, can't do that now. Yeah, it happened so like suddenly too. It's annoying. Was there a reason, was there a reason why I got delisted? Um. Apparently, from what I understand, they they specifically asked them to uh, deal. Developers asked them to delist it because of um, like it's like copyright issues or something. I don't know. It's like it's. I, I think it's one of those things where like having like really like like licensed stuff like that is um just really awkward to deal with or something. I don't know the specific details, but... I don't know. I could... I've also... just kind of been hearing things as well, so... could have been just muddled up in all the nonsense. So I don't know the full story. But it does suck, regardless. Digital distribution is a scary thing. I know, right? Castlevania, the event of birth. <laughs> Bring that back anytime they want, but. Hmm. Or, um, um. Uh, like just about anything on the WiiWare. Scott. Oh, Scott Pilgrim vs. The, the World. Yeah. yeah. I'm still upset about yeah, that. I, I, am, I am so lucky to have that. And, uh. So, Sonic 4 is uh, digital, so they could just pull that plug any time they want. <laughs> uh, Why I get the feeling people won't be too upset about that one? Uh, Sonic Mania exists. I mean, Episode 1, fair enough, but I still, I still think Episode 2 is a good game. Never, I haven't played either. I'm not. I'm just making. I'm just. No, this. people probably. Uh, the majority probably wouldn't care, but still. Oh, oh crap! Oh god! Mer oh my gosh! 
Gamers aren't particularly interested in preserving history, to be fair. I suppose. Also, I like how- I like this. You just crush that guy and it, and it counts as saving the teensy, even though oh, wait, it shouldn't. Yeah. Did we? Okay. Ah! Yeah, it's a thing in your feet. Yeah, that's pretty good to reuse with the circle. With the circle. Yeah. Oh, we missed two. Man, we are really losing it. <laughs> huh. I mean, as long as you get the lucky ticker, I guess. Mm. Yeah, I I say like the the ones that the most obvious feel like origins levels like. Uh, are to a point in time, it would be this and the first one. The, um, second, third, and the fifth worlds could be argued, because, um, there are a lot more out there compared to these. Is this, a, is this uh, the Ursula? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Well, we've got a Ninja Dojo. Oh, I like these. Yeah, just, like, mini challenges to get the lums. I think these are also parts of the weeklies. Yeah, they were. They they were very rare though. They don't usually they didn't usually do these. I think we got one during our last session, didn't we? I think so. Yeah. It's literally clear each room. Kind of wish there was like I don't think there's a full level of this theme though. I think it's just these mini challenges. No, I think you're right. Oh, oh crap, did that wrong. So I'm, I'm, I misjudged the uh, how far I'm gonna go with the speed or not. Hooray! Ah! Range. <laughs> you are paying for the cover. Good. Now, oh god! Now we just gotta finish it. Yep. Because we literally are not allowed to lift the last DMC. Yeah. Are they on a timer? What the. Well, they, they, um, the, the faster you are, the more lumps you get. Oh, okay, and there's the end right there. Yeah. So, no, it's a nice incentive to actually be good. Well, it also, that, that's, that's what contributes the lumps of the, this. Yeah. Ursula! Yay! Well, I guess, I guess we're switching to that one. <laughs> as I... The world has a character named Ursula. <laughs> As I like, let's see what, let's see what her story is. <laughs> oh god, my stream is so delayed sometimes. Yeah, these guns have tridents. Okay, what does it say? Oh, come on. The princess has been trained from a very young age to become the world's best spy. Gadgets and secret missions are part of her daily life. A uh, sparkles just come out of me. These got tridents. Yeah, boy. Very poopy hair. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say one one thing I did mention in uh, the first session as well is that. Oh man, have a deep. Yeah, this this, this is this is where the uh, the world gets really fun in my opinion. Um, this is the Splinter Cell level, right? Yeah, this is like Splinter Cell stuff. Um, well, like there's like two different areas, and then you go through the middle. I think. Yeah. Right, depending on which way we go, but there's four TTs. I think there's like four TTs on both sides. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about uh, if you see the TTs, you kind of go to the far right side, because um, that just means the others will just be on the other side. Man, we had, there's no way we can get in there. We'll have to come back and figure this out later. <laughs> But this is, 
I like. I, I just like how un unique of a take this is on a water level, because like, yeah. you're not even in the water for a lot of it. Yeah, see, we're on the second half of that picture too. Yeah. You remember these uh, jellyfish enemies? They're back. <laughs> Part of me just remembers the what? And yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why. I think that was during the, like, we were going for the jellyfish. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh crap. Oh. I remember. I remember the stupidest shit. Oh shit. No, I remember. I, I remember that very vividly. How did we get through that? <laughs> yes. Yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> but no, I like. I just, I just. One thing I just remember like getting. Uh, Trapped by like spikes and just bouncing back and forth, and you just start dying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't get Perfect. crushed. Now the power's now out. Now the power is out. Yep. Oh, boom. <laughs> the heck was that crouching through animation? Yeah, it's really weird. Oh crap. Ah! Woo! Yeah, now that the power is out, the entire way back is something else. Yeah. Like, uh. Uh, one thing I will say. One thing that also just makes this level really great is the fact that it slowly introduces new mechanics to you and just kind of implements wait, them into. Wait, 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 turn around. Yeah, go down. Um. No, not there. Oh. I do hear uh, it. Head uh, up there. Oh, okay. I thought that was there, the... there was an electrical gate there earlier. Oh, hello there, buddy. Okay. <laughs> 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 Nailed it. Yeah. But, um. There's also a thing down below you. Yeah, I know. Like, uh, <laughs> just the way this, uh, this world, um, slowly introduces new, uh, mechanics, obstacles and stuff, and, uh, kind of just does new things with it, um, over the course of the world, I just think is really well done. Cause yeah. there's a, there's a video about it someone made, uh, forget, I forget what the channel's called, but, um, you know how, uh, like a Mario game, like in a in Mario game level, um, they usually have like a specific gimmick for a level, and they do, and they kind of just one shot, more or less. Like they they uh, they um, mess around with with a gimmick for a stage or two, and then kind of drop it for the rest of the game, uh, with the exception of maybe like special worlds if you or whatever. Uh, whereas, like, this game, or this world more specifically, uh, kind of keeps going with a general, uh, general type of obstacles, and just keeps building up on it throughout the world, which I really like. Yeah. Which I really like, uh, because, like, it gets them, gives you the most out of, um, these types of obstacles, and just fleshes out, just fleshes out the gimmick a lot more. Right. Like, it's focusing on the stealth, like, hard. Yeah. And, and you know, like, mixing in the house, swimming works with it. How, um, different paths to go through. Yeah. Oh, poor dude. <laughs> We're crouching again. Oh, God! No, that's fine. I, I knew I was gonna bounce back. Turn back, turn back. No, no, we, we can go back. I know what I'm doing. Speed, glorious speed. Oh yeah, I remember where the last team scene out is now. It's in a really big long room with a lot of um a lot of red wires or yeah. red lasers. Yeah, it's also my favorite part of the level. The 
Japanese music, though. Yeah, this is- I love this part, because it just- it's just basically Mission Impossible. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, man! Eh? Uh, okay. I wasn't sure how that was gonna work. You know, there's a reason why places don't use these kind of lasers. Yeah. Oh, jeez, okay. Jesus! At least we get a checkpoint midway. Alright, that should be the end. Yep. Uh, okay, player. cool. Man, he's level I really like how much these levels don't overstay their welcome. Yeah. Very fast paced and uh mm. yeah, the, the also Yeah. It, it, co it comes at the cost of kinda of making this game feel a little short though. Yeah. Like, uh, I mean, this game is short. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't help that there's no second quest or anything. Oh! For better or worse. 